Hey you guys, Joey here. So today we're going to do a video on how to change your RV's uh, waste, waste tank Bladex valve. Um, this particular one is a Valterra valve. It is the most common one. Um, this is fairly a fairly simple task to do um, depending on how yours is installed. Um, the biggest thing to keep in mind is, is it is kind of a dirty job. It is kind of a messy job. For this video we're using all brand new parts for the purpose of you know, it is a messy job and there, it would just create a big mess on the table. So, or if we did it on an RV, if you guys really want to see one done in an RV, you just let me know and I'll do it. I don't care uh, about getting a little dirty, but you're going to want to make sure you have a 7 16th wrench, possibly two. So we have our 7 16th wrench right here. And then I just have a quarter inch ratchet with a 7 16th socket and extension on it. And one thing you're going to want to do before you do this is make sure your tank is absolutely empty. Um, some of you may not have the choice of being able to empty your tank. If that is the case, take it into a RV repair shop and have it done. This is that it's not necessarily something you should do yourself because you don't want to make a mess in your driveway and it does stink up the area for a little while and you're going to want to be able to rinse it all down. Um, even if you empty your tank, you're still going to get a little bit of drippage coming out of it when you take it apart. And you might see a little toilet paper and amongst other things in there. Now, once your tank is empty and you're 100% on that, what you're gonna to wanna to do is take your wrenches and you're just gonna to wanna to remove four bolts. Make sure you guys can see what I'm doing here. So you can loosen all four you want make sure you're wearing gloves get some latex gloves and I'll post links with part numbers below if you guys want to do this yourself or maybe you're just curious to see how it's done maybe you just had it done and you got charged a bunch of money to do it um, I've charged people as little as $118 to do this job before it just depends how much time it really takes me sometimes I can do it in a half hour But when I'm all done, I usually will rinse and clean the tank and fill the tank up with water and do a pressure test and make sure that it's not leaking. So, if you get all four off here, you guys can see how it works. Now, it might be kind of a tight fit in your RV, but it didn't have too much of a problem doing it. I've seen some where it's very challenging. If it looks like it's gonna be a real big challenge, go ahead and take it into a shop and have it done or have a mobile guy come do it. Um, this is the actual valve itself. This is a brand new one. I like to use the one with the metal handle. It costs a little bit more money, but it is better overall. The seals, these are brand new seals. Yours are gonna be used. Make sure you wear gloves. Throw the old seals away. Make sure you use the new, new seals. I've seen people take the seals and put it on the knife valve just like that and like that and they squeeze it like that and they try to put it on and they go to put it all together and then the seals just fall out and it leaks like crazy. Um, one thing I want you to keep in mind is if this was on an RV, this would actually be a tight fit and this wouldn't fit in there without applying pressure to both sides and then you would, you would slide the Valterra valve on. But to do that, you want to make sure you take your seals and put them on the inside of the actual ABS pipe first. See that there? Just put it on right there on each side. It should stick pretty good. If it's used and wore out, it might not. See that there? That's on there. You might want to use a little, um, I'd use Vaseline before to help make it stick on there. Just a little bit, not a lot. So once those are on there, you would apply pressure again to both sides, flaring it out, making the opening bigger, and then you would put them both back together and you would keep the pressure on it so it's together because you don't want it to lose pressure and have one of the seals pop off. And then you put all four bolts back on. And you want to tighten them all up evenly. You don't want to over tighten the top or over tighten the bottom first because it will help it leak. Just 
because if those seals get twisted or fall out, it will never hold water and it'll leak right out the bottom. So what I like to do is finger tighten them. And I take my wrench and my ratchet. Make sure we get it going the right way here. Tighten that one up. Tighten that one up just a little bit, not a lot. I'm gonna tighten it all the way. Do this on all four sides. It's a little different doing it on a table than it is on the RV. But if you guys want me to make a video doing it on an RV, just comment below and I'd be happy to do it. You guys can see just how messy it really is. <laughs> Maybe you live somewhere where you don't have the option to actually have an RV guy come out and do it or take it into an RV shop and have it done. But as you can see, we run around to all four bolts and nuts and tighten them in a rotation and we didn't over tighten one or the other. Then once everything's snugged up nice and tight, what I do is I will Actually, I just broke my ratchet here. There we go. Fill the tank up with water and ice. And you can drive it around and it'll help clean it out too. But when I'm all done installing one of these, I like to fill the uh, water tank up with water and I will do a pressure test. And then once I'm done, I'll pull the valve and it should be a little snug in there. You should be able to feel it riding on the actual seals itself. But, um, you know, if you were hard installing one yourself or replacing a whole bunch because of a tire blowout, we have every piece you could possibly think of. This one here is a T10, T1009, and it would actually go on the end of this thing and you would hook your waste valve your, your waste sewer hose right up to it itself. Sorry guys, a little flustered there. And then, uh, but this particular one, we're gonna take this union once we take it out to the RV and we're gonna put it on this side and then we'll tie it into the system. We got our elbow right here. We have everything we need. Most of these parts you can buy at your local hardware store. The Valterra valve, you may not find that at a, your local hardware store. Um, but I'll post links below for all the parts that you would need to do just this if you wanted to replace everything and uh, go from there. I wanted to thank everybody that's subscribed to our channel so far. And if you guys have any questions on a job like this, please feel free to comment below. I'd love to answer your questions. Um, we're almost at a thousand subscribers. We're gonna keep on making videos. Hopefully they will continue to get better over time. Um, this is my first time doing one where I have the camera somewhere else beside in my hand. So until next time guys, safe travels. And if you haven't subscribed already, be sure to subscribe for more great how-to RV videos. Thanks for watching.